Welcome to Dr. Social Problems. In this video, I would like to ask the question, what will be the effective affirmative action alternatives? I would like to proceed from outline through analysis to conclusion. In case you're in a hurry, please jump over to the conclusion part at the ending scene. If you are ready, let's start. As you know, the affirmative action was ended by the Supreme Court. Although the quota system itself has been out for years now, there are many voices which express worries about the consequence of ending this uh, affirmative action at the college admission. As I have mentioned in a previous video, as a professional, I support the stance of sticking to admitting students based upon objective academic ability, regardless of what race that student be. Because I consider taking in a student of color whose academic ability is lower than a uh, white student will cause another deep division between races due to reverse discrimination. But it is all true that colored students have disadvantage in terms of socioeconomic status. It is reasonable to have certain supports for them to make up for such disadvantages. So what should be the good alternative to affirmative action? If you are interested in this kind of discussion, please click the, the channel logo in the corner. One suggestion I have is providing colored students with special academic supports. For example, at schools in North London, Saturday school is provided black students to accelerate progress in their reading and writing. This type of special academic support will be a good alternative to affirmative action. But here, there's already uh, another problem in which white pupils have been excluded from this Saturday school because it was specially funded only for black and black heritage families. What can we do about this? I professionally think they should accept white students too if they are interested in attending that Saturday school. That is going to bridge the racial disputes by being inclusive for those white students. Even if they do accept white students, which will clearly be smaller number compared with the black students and showing the kind of a uh, generosity for white students will bring about the positive social relationships in the future. Also, there are voices which support that top 10% plan in Texas, which automatically admit those students who graduated in the top 10% of their high school classes. This may not be a bad idea at a glance. However, as a professional who stick to rigid academic ability, considering a difference in academic levels, taking 10% from lower academic schools causes some unfairness. If this top 10% plan will be admitted, they have to take into account the academic levels of each high school by calculating deviation values and so on. What I here suggest is we must adjust the level differences among high schools so that nobody can deny the impartiality of college admission. This is it. Thank you all the time for your support. My subscription, likes, and the sharing, and please have a peaceful night wherever you are watching this video on this same small planet Earth. 
Okay, until next time. Bye-bye.